I started this YouTube channel because the whole core of this channel is just about inspiring you to be your best self and hopefully inspire you to conquer anything that you set your mind to. Today, I have a productive day in the life with you. So let's get today started. It is currently Monday. It is just past seven. It is actually exactly 7.30 a.m. right now. And I need to strip my bed and get it all cleaned up for the day so I can beat everyone else to the washer. So let's go get that done and then we're gonna make some coffee and get into my productive day. <laughs> It is literally so beautiful outside this morning. It's March here where I'm at and it's supposed to be 60 degrees today, which is like unheard of. So I'm so excited. I think I'm going to plan an outdoor run around noon today. But anyways, let's get into today's video. I have a very exciting video for you guys today. I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of filming one of my YouTube videos today since today is filming day. You guys can kind of see how it works, what goes on, and I don't know, just get to know me a little bit better. I need to get my morning journaling done. I haven't done that yet. And then we're going to get some breakfast and some coffee. So let's Let's get to it. Okay, morning shenanigans are done. I am here with my buddy Roni. It is time for us to look attractive and get ready for the day. Excuse me. And then we're gonna film a video for my YouTube channel. Let's go. All right, the alarm for my laundry just went off. I still need to do my hair. I just finished my makeup. Let's go do that really quick and then we can get to the next part of my productive day. And done. A rare sighting of Marissa in makeup. Don't get used to it. <laughs> it is currently 9 to 29 a.m. right now and I am all ready for today. I have a tip for you guys when it comes to being productive throughout your day. If you didn't know, I am actually my own boss right now. I'm in the process of starting my own company. So I kind of am in charge of my days and making sure that I am as productive as possible. And one thing that I do to make sure that I do this is I basically block out my week and my days. So I shared another YouTube video that I did called six apps that helped me be more productive in 2021. Essentially, I've made a weekly task app on my notes app. So every single day I know exactly what tasks it is that I'm supposed to be doing. So for Mondays, normally I wake up and I morning journal, I pin on Pinterest because I'm working on growing my Pinterest account and then I have some breakfast and then I work out right away. But because today is supposed to be such a nice day, I wanted to get my filming done first and then be able to work out after later in the afternoon. Plus it was like 35 degrees when I woke up and I want to go outside when it's like 60 degrees outside. So I kind of had to flip my whole day around. That is so Ohio of me. So I'm going to pin on Pinterest for 20 minutes and then we're going to get some filming done. I am filming a video called 24 things I've learned in 24 years. By the time you see this video it'll actually already be out so go check it out right here and then we are gonna get into the rest of today right, 
I just finished up pinning on Pinterest. I think that it is super important to visualize the life that you want. And on Pinterest here, I feel like I've created my dream life right here on the app. I've pinned different things like fashion inspo and home inspo and stationary inspo and coffee inspo and just life and business inspo overall. And I think it's super motivating to go on here and look at what other people are doing and be able to visualize the life that I'm after because I think visualization is a super powerful thing. And the more that you visualize what you want your life to look like, I think that the more likely it is that it is going to happen. Let's get right into filming. Let's go. Yeah, small secret of freaking heat filming. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Girl of the hour. Literally, this is just the most awkward thing of my life. I feel like I've spotted a wild gazelle <laughs> out in the wilderness. <laughs> You're being a brat today. All right, my camera battery is straight up dying, so time to go inside and take a break and continue on in an hour. bed is made, my clothes are put away. I'm just uploading the footage from this morning from my camera onto my external hard drive because hashtag I have a 32 gigabyte SD disc and, and if you didn't know that only holds about 45 minutes of video which is nothing when you're filming YouTube videos so I'm just working with what I have. Anyways I'm looking at my to-do list here. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is reply to some YouTube comments on some bigger channels. If you didn't already know some people have such big channels that they can't get to every single comment so one strategy that I have to try to grow my YouTube channel is to just help by commenting on other people's questions on bigger channels to answer their questions that maybe bigger YouTubers can't get to because they have a lot more to do than I do. So, busy day today, let's get to it. I just reached 38 subscribers, which I know is like nothing, but I've tried to start a YouTube channel literally four times in my life and I've never gotten past like one subscriber. So I'm doing a lot better than I have in the past couple years that I've tried to start a YouTube channel. So hopefully I'll continue to grow and provide value to you. I really have to pee, but I'm wearing a bodysuit. If you know, you know. All right, it is just past 12 o'clock. I just finished lunch. I didn't get any footage of it because I literally scarped it down, but it was hilarious because my mom just got home from work and she was like, why are you dressed all nice today? And I was like, I was filming a video, but it's just hilarious. In 2021, we get surprised when people put on nice clothes and jeans for once in our life. Anyways, my camera should be charged by now, so I'm gonna go finish filming and then hopefully go enjoy this beautiful day outside. You can't see it, but it is beautiful. There and go work out. Let's go. All right guys, I just finished filming the last section of 24 things that I've learned in 24 years and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I'm excited to edit it. So it is almost one o'clock right now. I am gonna go work out. I think I'm gonna go do a cardio hit workout downstairs really quick. I'll bring you along with me and then I'm gonna go on an outdoor run and enjoy this beautiful sunny day. Wow, I'm just so grateful for today because it never is like this in March in Ohio and I am just loving it. Let's go. All right, it was fun dressing fashionable for a minute, but I am back in my natural grubby state. Let's go get sweaty and destroy this perfectly good face of makeup. Before I work out, I need to put my hair up really quick, so I thought I would take this moment to give you guys a quick update on my life. If you didn't already know, which I'm assuming that you don't because this is basically a brand new channel, I am in the process of starting my own sports bra business, which is super exciting. It's backed by a few investors and I'm having a great time doing it. And I have a question for you. Do you wear sports bras? If you do, do you have problems with your sports bras? Do you like your sports bras? Do you dislike your sports bras? If you don't wear sports bras, why don't you wear sports bras? I want to hear from you. Comment down below. You can direct message me or email me or whatever you want. I want to hear from you because I'm working on making a product that is going to solve women's problems and I'm so excited about it and I'm so passionate about it. And as you can see, this sports bra doesn't fit me at all. Anyways, now that I have put my Katniss Everdeen braid in, let's go work out. <laughs> 24 minutes, 182 active calories, and I am finished. 
I am so dead, but I made a goal that I was gonna run at least one mile every single day for an entire week to reach my goal weight of 130 pounds. I've been fluctuating between 130 and 131, and I told myself I hit 130, so that is what I'm going to do. It makes me think back on the time when I was in seventh or eighth grade, and I kept telling my sister that I wanted to achieve all of these goals, and I would never do anything about it. And finally, one time, we were sitting in our hot tub, and she was like, Marissa, if you just keep talking about your goals and you don't do anything about it, you're never going to get anywhere in life. And wow, that was very mean. She was correct, and I don't know what it was about that conversation, but it completely changed my life. Ever since then, I've been a crazy goal setter, and I've achieved amazing things in my life. I got my real estate license. I have a bachelor's and a master's degree. I have my own business that I'm starting right now, and I've ran multiple businesses before that I paid off my entire college tuition and graduated college debt-free and there's just been a lot of goals that I've set for myself that I've reached because I have set the goal I have made a plan taken action and been consistent with it and I think that's the key to any journey that you're in in life whether it's fitness your professional life or anything like that as long as you are consistent you show up and you write that goal down and you make a plan towards it I think that you will be successful so that is my random sweaty rant I can't believe my eyebrows actually stayed on while I was working out. I'm going to go outside and go for my run because I set my goal and enjoy this beautiful 60 degree day. Let's go. One mile, nine-ish minutes. Oh my goodness. Don't let this sunny weather fool you. It is windy as heck out here. I was gonna run two miles, but honestly, that wind just like kicked me in the ass, especially after doing a 30 minute cardio hit session. So I think I'm gonna walk the rest of the way, get cleaned up, and then get on with my work for the day. I'll see you guys in a few. All done with my workout, and I must say, my abs are coming in very nicely. I am back in my natural state, sweatpants finally, and it is latte. Oh, clock it. <laughs> Elena has the stevia out right here. It's not really latte a clock day though. It's actually iced coffee hour for me because our latte machine sucks. I'm gonna make an iced coffee. I'll be back. All right, Roni, show us what you got. <laughs> I don't know why she does this, but she always lays her head down on the table. I'm gonna bring my mom some coffee and put this camera in her face and see if she says anything. You ready for this? <laughs> I just wanted to see if you would say anything. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> this is the kind of confidence that you want in your life. All your junk hanging out. No shame at all. It is currently 3.12 in the afternoon right now and I really need to get some work done. So I am going to sit down on my computer for the next hour or two and be productive. I have 30 Pinterest pins that I need to make for my YouTube channel to drive traffic to it. Then I have some designs I need to draw up because I'm meeting my manufacturer on Friday and I'm really excited to talk designs for the sports bras that I'm making. So busy day today. I've been super productive. I'm honestly getting a little bit tired. I might have a quick snack and then get into it and get all this done hopefully before five o'clock. All right, let's go. If you don't already know, popcorners from Costco are amazing and low calorie, only 120 calories. I am all about that. That is a wrap on today's productive day in my life. I actually got a lot done today. I didn't get to designing a few things for my manufacturer that I'm going to on Friday, but that is okay. I will get to that later. It is just past 5 p.m. right now. I am getting ready to just close my computer out, go upstairs, have some dinner, and just enjoy the rest of the evening. If you're new here, which I'm assuming that you are because I just started this channel in December and it's March, so it's only been out for a couple months. The more I get into this, the more I realize how much I love talking about just balance.
balance and personal growth and healthy living and business and just behind the scenes of building my business. I started this YouTube channel because I'm here to share my story of what it's like to start a business from the ground up and hopefully inspire you to conquer anything that you set your mind to. The whole core of this channel is just about inspiring you to be your best self and that's the whole reason why I started it. So I think I need to do a better job of just tailoring my videos towards inspiring you because I feel like sometimes I'm just going through the motions and I'm trying to satisfy the YouTube algorithm and I forget about the fact that you guys are here because you're looking to feel a certain way. You're looking to be inspired. So to the 38 people that have subscribed to me already in this channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate every single one of you and I'm so excited to grow this community with you and hope to see you in another one of my videos and I will talk to you later. Bye.